the live online version of um, an Infogram sandbox tool, uh, originally created by Ben Gamari. What you can do with this is pretty neat. You can just drag an image directly on here, and it will show up. And um, you can use these presets to just immediately do stuff. Click that, and it generates NDVI, just right there in the browser. You click that, it shows you just the infrared channel of that of that image. If you're not if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to infogram.org and read a bit more about these cameras. But in any case, we'll go back to RAW here and take a look at this thing I've added. Um, it's called a channel mixer. And what it allows you to do is to input the letters R, G, and B and hit run. And this one, you know, just generates the same image you're seeing. But if you wanted to, you can mix them up. So you could put R, B, G and hit go. I'll, I'll scroll down a little bit. And what you see is that um, it's actually using these to compose every pixel and it's processing the entire image each time. So if you wanted you could have the amount of red. You could double it. You could actually uh, generate some kind of a strange composite here where everything is blue but then you know, red and green are multiplied. The other thing you can do is you can do it all in monochromatic uh, form. So you can just look at the red channel. You can just look at the green channel. I'm hitting enter every time, you know. Uh, you can just look at the blue channel. I'll, I'll do it with the mouse so you can see. Or you can say the red divided by the green. Or the red divided by the blue. So these are the differences. Blue divided by green. Now, here's a neat one. Uh, if you're familiar with the NDVI equation, we'll go back to here. It, what it is, is it's actually the, the infrared light minus the visible light divided by the infrared light plus the visible light. So we can, we can do that. Um, initially, red, the red channel of the image, is representing infrared. So we can just say minus the visible, which is in the blue channel. And that's, you know, your basic thing, but what we can do is, um, the basic difference, but what we can do is, you have to use parentheses, but you can say R plus B here. And that should give us NDVI. Let's run that. If you actually compare it to the NDVI here, you'll see that ours is a bit darker. And that's because it generates, at the end, a value between negative 1 and 1. And all values less than 0 are just represented as black in this image. So if we really wanted to, we'd have to say uh, plus 1 to really shift into the positive, and then divided by 2 to narrow the range. And that gives us the exact uh, same equation as the NDVI button. We don't yet have color mapping on here, but I'll show you one thing that we do have. What we can do is I'm going to go back and make this the original image. What I've done is I've added the letter S. The letter S can be used with a slider. Now we don't have, this is not really fully built out at this point, but um, the idea is that with the slider you can um, actively rebalance or remix the amount uh, of different channels. And you can use that S as sort of another variable in your equation. So if you wanted to, you could say, um, you know, say that you think you have too much red. So I'm going to write like this, run it, and you could actually balance uh, the amount of red in your image using the slider now. You could, you could increase or decrease it. Now, it, it makes sense that we might eventually have more sliders and we might organize this page a little bit better, but at this point, I think it's just neat that you can do all this right here in the browser by just writing these simple mathematical expressions. I wanted to emphasize again that this whole environment was created by Ben Gamari. Um, you can actually uh, look it up um, on GitHub at uh, let's see at bgamari um, slash infogramjs. And we'll put a link on the page as well. Uh, it's available for use here um, at this address, so check it out.